Hello, and thank you for tuning in to another video tutorial on the Monogram Wizard Plus presented by Needleheads. In this lesson, we're going to be touring the screen, the standard interface that comes with the Monogram Wizard Plus and what every aspect of the interface is. We're going to start in the upper left-hand corner with the monogramming styles. This section is 18 unique, elegant, traditional, and fun monogramming styles that you can use at just a click of a button to change the look and feel of your monogram and make a very unique and interesting monogram. The next second section is alphabets. This is a listing of all the alphabets that you have available in your Monogram Wizard Plus. 55 comes standard with the program and there's over 200 that you can add into the program from our instant download alphabet store to find the exact alphabet that you're looking for for your project. The next section is the motif packs. These motif packs are unique packs that allow you to add embellishments or designs to your monogram. Each pack comes with multiple motifs, which will be listed in the following list. So if you selected Celtic, then you would be able to check, uh, select from any one of the 36 Celtic designs and embellishments that you could add. Style control. This is the place where you can create and save your own styles. So if there's a certain monogram that you really like to do, you can create it, save it as a style, and then every time you want to redo that, just pull it up, change the letters, and resave it. It really makes creating monograms even quicker. This is another place that you can do, use the style control section to save a work in progress. So if you're creating a pretty intricate monogram and you can't do it all in one sitting, you can save it as a style and come back and continue working on it later. The next section is our settings section. This section allows you to set the letter size, the grid size, the boldness of your letter, the letter width, the kerning, kerning which is the distance between your letters, distant density percentage, motif size, and motif width. The next section is our lettering styles. 12 unique lettering styles which allows you to uh, customize the look and feel of your letters for what you're going for with your project and used in conjunction with the names box. Moving into our initials and names section, these are two sections that you can use to put your letters in for your design. You can use the letter section, the letter 1, 2, and 3 box here to do traditional monogramming, or use the names box to put up to two lines of text per layer in the names box to do unique designs. The next section here is our design adjustments. This is where we can move our motif our monogram or the first line in our names box or the second line in our names box. These are nudge keys which allows you to move your monogram or motif whichever you have selected in whichever direction you want. The center section you can increase so that the movements are greater or you can decrease it to make the movement smaller for fine tuning and adjusting. The next section is system functions. This is where we can save and export a stitch file. We can simply exit out of the software. We can reset all the settings of our monogram. We can print out our monogram so we know what it looks like. Uh, style can, is where we would save our unique styles to be listed here in our style control section. And all, if you click all, will show all layers in color. Next, swap layers. This allows you to move one layer to the other. So if we wanted to move layer one, to layer 2, we would click this arrow and take whatever's on layer 1 and make it layer 2. And then finally, we can force the design to sew out in satin stitches, force the design to sew out in fill stitches, or add extra underlayment. Next, the monogramming information section tells us all the information we need to know about our design. The length of our design, the height of our design, the stitch count, and the current scaling on the screen. Also, we can click in this box to set the Monogram Wizard Plus to use English measurement or metric measurement. The next section is our color sequence. This is the default sequence in which each color change will be assigned which color. So if we had a three color design, the first color would be assigned to the light blue, the second color would be assigned to the dark blue, the third color would be assigned to the, to the green here. Once again, this is color sequence, not a color palette. This last box down here of background allows you to set the background color. So if you want to see what your design will look like on your finished product, if it's sewing out on a blue towel, for instance, you could set the background to blue so that you can see what kind of color combination will look best. 
The next section is our grid section. This whole area is where all our monogramming will be laid out and uh, put. Every time you make a change to, this, to one of the settings, this will automatically change so you can get immediate feedback on what you just did. And last but not least is our layers. Our layers allows you to build monograms with multiple fonts as well as multiple motifs and add up to two lines of lettering per layer. So with five layers, we can do up to 10 lines of lettering in our monograms or in our designs. Uh, building uh, uh, on each layer, you can put one alphabet and one motif. So if you have two alphabets that complement each other really well, you can build a monogram using both of them by combining layers. And this has been a screen tour of the Monogram Wizard Plus. Thanks for tuning in. Have a wonderful day.